righty, as we get going. What's going on, everyone? My name is Christian Ramirez. I'm going to be your MC for today. I'm really, really excited to be here. I'm also quite nervous, but it's okay. You don't need to know that. You already do. But uh, I'm going to kick things off a little bit about myself. I'm going into my third year here at uh, CSUSM. It's my second year here on O-Team, and I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, I currently serve as one of the co-directors of orientation teams, so those lovely individuals that you saw in the blue polos just like this. Uh, I'm the director, one of three actually. A uh, little bit about myself, I'm majoring in business administration here at CSUSM. Uh, I love the beach. I, none of my shorts go past my knees. That's one thing I will say, not one pair. Um, I'm really outgoing. I talk a lot when I get nervous. I talk fast when I get nervous. Um, but for the most part, I love orientation team and all things new students. Um, so I'm not the only one when I say this, but we're all excited uh, for you all to be here and to start your journey here at CSUSM. So to kick things off, please join me in welcoming Louis Adamzell. He's our Associated Students Incorporated President. Thank you. Good morning, Cougars. Good to see you all. On behalf of ASI, I wanted to, Associated Students Incorporated, I wanted to congratulate you on your decision to enroll here at Cal State San Marco. My name is Louis Adamsell, and I am the president of Associated Students Incorporated, also known as ASI on campus. Um, on behalf of ASI and its nearly 14,000 student members, again, welcome to Cal State San Marcos. Here at Cal State San Marcos, ASI is the official student body organization of our university. We represent and advocate for all students. Our mission is to serve, engage, and empower all students. And we do this by offering a wide variety of leadership opportunities, programming through our campus activities board, and prominent programs and services from our LGBTQA Pride Center and our gender equity centers. Um, I hope, since you're all Cougars now, you will join us in our campus of wearing CSUSM gear or Cougar Blue on Thursdays. And if I could give you a piece of advice, it's to get involved besides your academics and, you know, go join a club, an org, start one, get in involved in an intramural, intramural sport of any kind. Please don't be afraid to visit us inside of the USU or go to slash ASI. And, yeah, always don't be afraid to talk. And it is my privilege to introduce from our university, uh, Mr. Scott Hack. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, my name again is Scott Haig. I am the Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Some of you in the room will probably love me and the rest will probably hate me. And I will explain why in a few minutes. Um, a lot of you probably already saw that you were pre-enrolled in some of your classes, correct? All right, did you see what times you were pre-enrolled in your classes? And some of you, did you like those pre-enrollment times? Some of them are saying no. Okay, for those that are saying no, then you hate me because I did that. For those that uh, liked the, the times that you uh, got for your classes, then that was, again, you can love me, because that was, again, what I did for you. We pre-enrolled all the incoming freshmen into courses that are required for you to graduate in Cal, from Cal State San Marcos in four years. It is very important for you to, if you can, keep the classes that you were pre-enrolled, especially if you're a bio ma biology major, biotech major, if you see chem, biology classes, uh, some of your computer science classes, Math 160, if you don't take those in your first semester, it's going to be very difficult for you to finish your degree in four years. I think as your, HO, uh, your counselors here will probably tell you, um, it is critical to stay in those classes and uh, push through it for your first semester. It could be a bit challenging, but the nice thing is, because you are in the same class, um, so if you're a biology major, you're probably going to be in the same three classes or four classes as other biology majors in your freshman year class. That will make for some easy friendships and hopefully some study groups that you'll be able to get together after class or in the evenings to uh, review the information that you were given. Another point I would like to make is that some of you may be wondering, are you ready for college? Is this the right place for you? Um, I just want to point back to what my brother experienced when he went to, to college many, many years ago. He barely graduated from high school. He had about a 2.2 GPA. He was in summer school every summer. His SAT combined math and verbal was uh, under 800. I think it was a 790. Does that 
tell excellence? No? Well, he went on to college, uh, went to Suffolk University in Boston, Massachusetts. He graduated uh, summa cum laude and uh, went on to law school and is now a lawyer in Washington, D.C. for NOAA. Um, it was all because he found a professor, he found classes that he really excelled at, he was engaged, and he enjoyed that college environment much more so than high school environment. High school is a little bit more rigid, and that college is an opportunity to find your voice, speak out, and get involved. Which is the last point I wanted to make, which is about get involved. Um, when I was in college, I had the opportunity to travel halfway around the world to live in, uh, and work in Bangkok, Thailand for a year. It was uh, rather scary because I didn't exactly know where the country was on the map until I found it. And then I land in Bangkok, Thailand, and I was told that some people would be at the airport to pick me up. I really wasn't told who or what or when, um, but I got off the plane, went to this uh, corral area, and I saw my name on a sign, and I uh, jumped in the car with these strangers, got to my where I was going to stay for the next year, and it was an incredible experience. Got to learn a little bit about the language, the people, got to eat a lot of great food, uh, traveled probably more places in Thailand than most Thais get to travel. And at the end of the experience, uh, I did get to meet my wife. So uh, my time's up. Oh, I was just getting to the good part. <clears throat> but quickly, <laughs> um, my wife now have been married for 18 years, and we have two children. One's at Delago, one's at uh, Woodland, for those that are local. And hopefully, they'll be coming to Cal State San Marcos. But if you have an opportunity, get involved in uh, study abroad. Take a look at it your junior, senior year. It'll be an experience that you'll remember forever. And with that, I'll hand it back over to Christian, and just my one comment is all my shorts